In question two, part A, I'm going to integrate a function to find the area under the curve S. The function I'll integrate is sin squared x with respect to x, when x runs from 0 to pi. You can see the answer I obtained was pi by 2. I'll now use the Casio calculator to confirm this. So that's option 5 for the graph function menu. And if I want to integrate sin squared x, I need to plot it first. So that's sin x squared and f6 to draw. OK, now if I use g solve and I scroll using f6 to get to the integration menu, that's f3, and f1 to integrate with respect to x. It now asks me to select my lower limit value, which in this case is 0. And the upper limit value is, as you can see here, pi. So that's shift pi. OK, and the value I get is 1.5707 and so on, which is actually pi by 2. So that confirms the result. In part B, I need to find a volume of revolution, so I'm going to be integrating a different function. You can see the answer I get is 3 eighths multiplied by pi squared. Let's see if we can use the Casio graphical calculator to confirm this result. So if I input the function, that's pi multiplied by open bracket sin x squared. And I actually want to square all of that as well. So let me scroll backwards for a moment and open a second bracket and then scroll forwards and close that bracket and raise it to the power 2 or square it. OK, so now I have the function I require. I select execute and F6 to draw. OK, now I'm interested in integrating this between 0 and pi. So if I select G-solve and scroll to integration, which is F1, the lower limit value is 0 and the upper limit value is pi, so that's shift exp. OK, you can see the value I obtain is 3.701 and so on. And a simple numerical calculation will confirm that's the same as 3 eighths of pi squared. And so the Casio graphical calculator has confirmed it to be correct.